Drew's so high in the Patriots. I don't know why Levi's so high in the Patriots. I don't know why Coward's so high in the Patriots. Patriots are not a great football team, a borderline playoff team. That's not an overreaction. That is an overreaction. And Coward does have them out of their top ten, but I think that's an overreaction. I just think that, you know, Cam Newton was coming off of uh, COVID a couple weeks of, you know, not being able to train with people. And I don't know. I think that that – I think that really affected them, that the fact that they couldn't train for the last, you know, two weeks uh, as a full team. So, I think I'm going to give him a break this week. I think right. uh, Drew Drew Locke had a – he didn't have the best game, but I don't know. I feel like he Drew was McGinnis. better than Cam Newton. Yeah, their defense completely shut down Drew Locke, and, and because of the limited practice, I'm going – that is an overreaction too. That's false. Patriots, yeah. they're still a good team. And, you know, Bill Belichick, he's the best coach of all time. He's going to get them back to the playoffs. You know it. Yeah. Right, what's up, yeah. Now yeah. we got we got ten of those. Just say true or false. Quickly give us a little bit of information about that. And yeah. So what is the Browns are still terrible, and it's time to move on from Baker Mayfield. Yeah. And I disagree with that. That is not an overreaction. The five and one Browns are, or the four and two Browns are definitely not terrible. And I do not think they should move on from Baker Mayfield yet. And I say yet because I, just, I say yet because if Baker has another game like he did that game for the next five games, let's say, and they're six and six after starting yeah. out four and one, then you have a question: Are they legit? But as of now, definitely not. No. I disagree with the first part, but I agree with the second part. I think the Bear Browns are good. Um, but I do think they should move on from Baker after this year if he doesn't get the job done. So, I mean, I agree with both of those. But, I'm in the same boat as Drew here. I'm going – that is a true overreaction that they should move on from Baker, but they're not necessarily terrible. They're going to be in the playoff mix, but you know what? Baker, he's just not really the answer. And uh, we saw that on Sunday with those those picks at the start of the game. Just hurt them so bad. Yeah. All right, so number two, Cowboys are nothing without Dak. Might not win the division after all. Seth? That is definitely a true statement. Cowboys are nothing without Dak. Dak can walk into the office today and say, here's a check for however much money I want, and they would sign him to that deal. That's how bad it was for the Cowboys this week. They need Dak. They're a terrible football team. Eagles are going to win the division. It's over for the Cowboys. Wow. Yeah, I'm going false on that. I'm completely wow. not wow. both the Cowboys being bad. You know what? That, that was one bad game against the Cardinals play. team that just came in. You know, Kyler Murray never lost in that stadium. And uh, Kyler Murray they, was 9 for 24 passes. There, I think twice. Out. Kyler Murray completed nine passes and they blew them out. Yeah, be- yeah, because they had a good they had a good run game. And, you know, Kyler Murray as a running back, as a running quarterback, did really, really well against the Cowboys defense. They had no answers for him. Oh but you know what I say? Um, Andy Dalton right. didn't lose the Cowboys that game. He actually completed more passes than uh, That's than what Kyle I'm saying. Did. And you know the who lost that bad. Ezekiel. Their quarterback can do better than the other team's quarterback, and they can get blown out. Ezekiel Elliott was the guy who lost the game for the Cowboys. And the reason Dalton threw those but picks, two picks was for, because they were two playing picks from for Dalton. Dalton. I, I, the Dalton. Cowboys will win more. Maybe not next week. I don't know, but they'll they'll get back on track. They're still. I disagree back. with. I agree with that. The Cowboys are nothing without Dak. However, I disagree with the fact that they're not going to win the division. I do think they're going to end up winning the division because the Eagles don't look great, even though they had a great comeback win. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but yeah, or not a win, comeback. You know, they had a chance after being down by two scores, getting shut out in the first half. So yeah. All right, um, Aaron Rod- number three, Aaron Rodgers is no longer an MVP candidate. I agree, and the Packers might not be as good as we thought. On the other hand, Brady is still the GOAT, and the Buccaneers are right there with the Hawks for the best thing that is. True. True. True? Yeah. True. Well, I mean, the Packers were a unanimous top three-ish team across pretty much all power rankings, and the Bucks kind of blew them out of the water. It was not close. Yeah. The Rodgers was not even in the last four or five minutes of the game, and uh, Rodgers is out of the MVP conversation as of right now. So I have to agree with that. Bucks being as good as the Seahawks, that might be a little bit of a stretch because they lost to the Bears. But I can see where you're going with that. So, yeah, I'll agree with that. For me, I will I'm going false. I think this is one bad game for Rodgers. He's going to bounce back, and he's going to be just as 
Well, you can't have, you can't have, have that bad of a team, going though. Into the rest of the season. The Buccaneers are just not there yet. Offense. They still have issues with their offense. That's Buccaneers just, defense is good, to be fair. Yeah. Their defense is good. Great. If their that's offense that's keeps going good. like they did in that game, they're a legit threat. But we have to that's what I'm trying to say. The Packers have played bad defenses the first five weeks. Now they play a real defense, and they get absolutely blown out. The Packers, sure, but how many defenses are as good as the Bucs? Uh, probably like 10. No. I'd say like five. Yeah, I would say ten. Five. The Bucks are like a borderline top ten defense. Okay, oh, the, no, the thing no, about the, the Bucks, Bucks defense in the top ten. For the sure. thing about the Bucks defense is that their run defense and pass defense are both very strong. They don't have, they have a, defense like defense five, five though. So that's still like I already behind the Bucks. I feel like could also do that if they have a good yeah. offense. So. I agree with that statement. So right. does Seth. Right. Levi what does not. The statement for it. I think that the Steelers, both undefeated, have surpassed the Ravens and Bills. And are now among the AFC's top dogs with the Chiefs. I feel like that's probably to me false. Okay. So is this the Steelers passing the AFC and the Titans? Steelers and the Titans, 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 Titans are passing the Ravens with the Chiefs or the Ravens. I would disagree. I would disagree with that. I think they, I think they're on the same level as the Titans, Chiefs. Um, Ravens. I don't think they passed them yet, though. No, so, no, I, I don't agree with that. No, he, he said they're on this one. I think the Steelers and Titans are both legit Super Bowl contenders, more so than the Ravens and more so than the Bills. Well, I don't think even if I, I don't think they're past the Titans yet either. So, I don't agree with it. No, the Titans were one of the two teams. It was the Titans and the Ravens. Okay, well, I don't think it was the, the Titans and the Steelers. Titans and Steelers. All right. I think that's true. Titans and Steelers are second and third best teams in the AFC. Passing I think Ravens are second. Or no, I think Ravens are third. And Titans second. And then Steelers fourth. Why are you so low on the Steelers? This is making me mad every single week. I have them in to my prove? top five, dude. I have them in my top five. What but... more do they have to prove to you? They beat the Browns. I need to yeah, see them against the a, a elite quarterback. Browns. I want to see them against an elite quarterback. That's what I want to see. Yeah, but you look, know, that's, I, that's totally fair. The Browns looked absolutely trash. So yeah, I told I told Steelers fans last week power rankings. I'll put them in my top five because they beat the Browns. They're in my top five. So I don't think I'm that low on them personally. But I think you are that low on them personally. Though. All right, what's next, Cody? All right, so next we have Carson Wentz saves his third job when you pull off. Team of backups within two points of the Ravens. Well, I don't think he was ever going to get benched, so false. But I guess, like, sure, he. Yeah. Wait, wait. You're saying this is false? Well, he the was never going to get benched. The statement is the statement is he saves his starting job. I think even if he he didn't have a close game here, he still would have kept his starting job. So false. He didn't oh, save okay. his starting job. He already had his starting job locked in. Well, I'm going false, but for a different reason, because you know what? In the first half of that game, the Eagles offense could not move the ball until who they bring in? Jalen Hurts. Mm-hmm. They brought him in more as a running back, but still, I think that even though Carson Wentz took this team to get within two, his job is still in jeopardy. You know what? He's been one of the worst quarterbacks this year by any metrics. He's thrown way too many interceptions, turns the ball way too much. So I think that Jalen Hurts, there's still a chance that you might see Jalen Hurst as the Eagles starter in the rest of the season. If their season keeps going the way it is right now. Um. Well, I – wait, did you ask me a question, Levi? Well, it's your no. turn. Okay, yeah, okay. Um. I think that – well, I, this is the first week that I've actually watched a full Eagles game from start to finish, and I really don't think Carson Wentz is – the main problem personally i just think that Agreed. that Agreed. that that he's not good enough to entirely carry the offense he needs some pieces around him and he just doesn't have that right he now so no i don't think his offense is, i don't think his role was ever in jeopardy however um jalen hurts really did kickstart that offense at the start of the second half so you got to give him some credit but i think jalen hurts is more of a Taysom hill type quarterback right now in his career so uh, I think he's doing fine in his role right now. So uh, no, I don't agree with that. Just because I don't think his role was ever, his job was ever in jeopardy. Yeah. All right, next. Winners are back up for beating the Rams. Rams three, but still contending. Okay. What was the second part of the question? They're three and three, but still contending. Okay, I agree with that. The Niners are definitely contenders, and they just beat the Rams. Pretty, it was a good win, 
the score was closer than it showed. If you watch the game, it was farther. But yeah, I'm going yeah. true on that as well. Look, they got Debo Samuel back this week, and immediately and their offense beat. looks like it's it completely absolutely changed. Beat. First play of the game, 40 yard catch and run off yeah. the defender, rolls up off the ground. What a run. I mean, that was great game for Samuel, the Niners. They're definitely back. Definitely a wild card team. Yeah, I mean, I agree with that, too. So, yeah, let's just move on. Yeah, pretty. I mean, they beat a top oh, 10 I... team, so yeah. they're my winner. So, yeah, yeah they did bounce back. Oh, I think the Rams were top 10 team last week. All right, what do we got next, Cody? Number seven? Gentlemen, the defense led by Coach Joe Judge and have a legit shot at winning the NFC. Uh, definitely not. This is false. The Giants have no chance of winning the NFC East. Sure, they beat the Washington football team. They're not coming close to the Andy Dolan Cowboys. And they're not coming close to the Eagles. No. I'm going true on this one. You know what? Oh, the more I watch the Giants, Giants, this is a team that has so much grit. You know what? They are playing in every game. They, they've been playing in close games. Really, every game they've played in has been close, except for the 49ers blowout. But besides that, they've lost four close games, and now they have a win under their belts. They're one game behind a Dallas team that, I don't know, I still think the Dallas team can win seven, but if the Dallas team yeah. only wins six, maybe the Eagles win six, I think the Giants could be right there. If they just put it together a little bit more, their defense, their defense is borderline top ten in the league right now. I mean, you look at how they've been, they've been shutting teams down. They shut down the Rams. They shut down the Steelers when they played them at the first game of the season. So, you know what, what I said, the Giants are definitely should be taken seriously – in the worst division, how can you not? They're only one game back. Um, I'm going to have to agree with Seth on this one, but I think it's a little closer than Seth is making it. I think any team in the NFC East has a shot. I don't know if it's a legitimate yeah. shot, but I think anyone in the NFC East has a shot right now. So I'm going to have to agree with Seth and say this is an overreaction, but I see where Levi's coming, kind of. All right. Sure. So next we got Luda Baker. It's the best safety in the league, and the Cardinals are really, really good. Okay, the the first part is a stretch. Best safety in the league, maybe. Top five safety for sure. And the Cardinals are a really good team, so yes, I that's true. All right, Drew? Uh, was the first part of the question, Bake, uh, Buda Baker, the top five safety? Best safety. No, number one safety. In the league? Yeah. Yeah. No, I disagree with that. Um, I maybe said, yeah, like, I said top five. Maybe last week he was number one. Maybe I mean I wasn't paying attention to every team's. I wasn't paying attention to every team's safety. But did you watch the Cardinals game? Um, but yeah, the Cardinals are a really good team. So, yeah, I'll agree with that. I'm going true. He is the best safety right now. It's between him and Minka Fitzpatrick, and I think it's him oh, right yeah. now. And I'm going semi-true in the second part. Are the Cardinals really, really good? I think they're good enough to be in playoff contenders. I think it's either them, the Niners, or the Rams for the final wild card spot right now. I don't know which one gets it, but the way it looks to me, it's the Bears, Bucks in the first two wild cards, and then probably either the Cards, Niners, Rams. So I think they're good, not really, really good yet. But the way Buda Baker's playing – Man, he's been he was amazing against the Cowboys. Maybe it was just because of the Cowboys. Uh, Buda, Baker was, Buda Baker was by far the best defensive player this week. And I mean, they I'm not saying he's number one. He, literally, like he is so good. I'm not saying he's number one, but he's guaranteed top five hands down. I'll say this: I'm worried about him on the upcoming. I'm game. worried about I'm the Cardinals. I'm as a Seahawks fan, I'm yeah. scared of the Cardinals. So I'm always scared of the Cardinals, but we oh, somehow yeah. end up losing to them every year. So that's true. Yeah. We always get it with them. All right, what's next, Cody? Two out of two for two in his first drive. He's the future GOAT, and it's time for the Dolphins to start him over Fitzpatrick. Well, they're already starting over Fitzpatrick. That's the news came out today, so. I saw that. That so is still a reaction, you think it's a good though. idea that they're starting? Uh, yes, but it's, he's not going to be the future GOAT. That's an overreaction for sure. It's good they're starting him, but definitely not the future GOAT. Okay. I, uh, I do not think they should start him right now just because Fitzpatrick has been doing pretty good. Yeah. He literally scored, like, I don't know how many points against the Niners. It was a lot, though. I forget the number. No, yeah. Um, Fitzpatrick's is playing well. And what? Tua has two passes, and they're like, oh, Tua? Yeah. Um, I don't think Fitzpatrick expected him to take the job yet. I just think that Fitzpatrick expected that they wanted to just see what they could do at an end of a blowout game. So, I think Fitzpatrick is just as 
as as surprised as all of us because when Tua got called in the game last week, um, you know, he was cheering and clapping his hands and stuff. And if you knew he was going to take the starting job from you, I don't think he yeah. would usually do that. So I think he's really surprised. I know I'm really surprised. I think Tua is going to be uh, um, a pro bowler um, at some point in his career. I really like Tua, but – Right now, Fitzpatrick is playing too good, in my opinion, to, you know, um, bench him. So, Yeah, I'm going false on this as well. You know what? How do you, how do you bench a guy who is in the top half of the league in every category for quarterbacks? I mean, top half of the league in touchdowns. No, but, here, but here's what I said. Top half of the here's league what I said. Yeah, I get that he's thrown seven interceptions. No, 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 no finish, 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 finish. But still, Fitzpatrick has been – I mean, he's been a borderline top ten QB, and the Dolphins are three and three. All right, well, here's what I'm going to say about that. Yeah? The Dolphins probably had a plan coming in this year. To, Fitzpatrick's going to start the first yeah. five to eight games, and whenever they feel like two is ready, they're going to put two in, even yeah. if Fitzpatrick's better than him. They want to get him developing. So, so the Dolphins about. did not expect to – listen, the Dolphins probably did not expect to be three and three. So, yeah. they're st- so they probably still think it might be a fluke. They're going to stick with their plan. They're going to start Tua. They think he, they need to develop him to get him to the player that we all think he could be. Yeah, no, but when you have a chance to make the playoffs after six weeks, I mean, they're three and three. That's a, they have a legitimate playoff chance. I say you play the best quarterback, and I think the best quarterback right now is Fitzpatrick. So. This is why the Dolphins are a bad organization because they make. You're not making the playoffs if you stay 500 the whole year, okay? So you need to take a chance at putting your young superstar. He only did the playoffs. It's no, I know, I know, but you're not gonna be you're not gonna be eight and eight and make the playoffs. But that's what I just um, said. Yeah, I know, but you're not down and they're going to go with three Patrick. and three. Eight, 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 seven, nine. They they thought they were going to be you know two and four, one and five, and that's you're out of the playoffs at that point. But yeah, three, and three, you have a legitimate shot. Yeah, right. No, but you have a chance. You have a chance. Yeah, to so you have bring a chance. your franchise. Yeah. I just how do you know he's a superstar? How do you know he's a superstar? Yeah, you have no idea he's this guy's going to be. Uh, okay, put in your number three pick in the draft. Whatever, close number enough. Five. But here's what I'm worried about Tua, though. If Tua comes in and doesn't do as well as Fitzpatrick, and he doesn't do as well as Burrow and and uh, and what's his, and Herbert, Herbert, then people may people may start doubting on Tua after just guys, one. Season. Guys, guys. Wow. Okay, you're going really uh, cutting us off here, Cody. All right, what's the final overreaction? Bills offense is suddenly bad, and Josh Allen's first four games must have been an anomaly. Still not I disagree with that. I disagree with that. I don't know. I don't know if you can have four anomaly games. Um, usually when you have six games and four of them are outliers, uh, the other two are usually outliers, last I checked. So yeah. I don't – I, I disagree with that. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I – I'm going false on that as well. The Bills offense, they weren't great in the past two games, but they were facing two pretty good defenses with the Titans and the Chiefs. I think they're going to get back on track eventually. Yeah. No, I agree with this one. Chiefs, a good team. You can't really beat the Chiefs. They're looking unbeatable right now. And Titans, also looking good. I think Allen had a couple off games.